Remember when all you had to be concerned about was bad guys using technology to get your name or your social security number? Well, those were the good old days. Uh, so what is it that these bad guys are after now? <laughs> Let's compute this. Thor Schrock is the CEO of Schrock Innovations. Good to see you, Thor. Welcome good to back. See you. It all comes down to cats. <laughs> they want your cat. <laughs> is that what it is? Well, They'll I'll take your dog on a bad day, but they cat. want your cat. I don't have any cats, so it looks oh, like I'm so going to go. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> but these We're going to talk about Kitty 360 today. <laughs> oh, man. 360-degree litter box have you, protection. Have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just in a great mood this I morning. That's, good. That. That's Monday. You know, you're coming <laughs> off a good weekend. But, no, these, right. th seriously, these security threats, they change. They've changed a lot over time. How have they changed over the past few years? All right, so, you know, back in the day, you remember in the 90s, it was like the Melissa virus, the I love you virus. You know, get the email from your, your super attractive coworker saying, for the longest time, I've looked across the cubicles and to put in whatever romantic music you want. And all I've seen is your face. I love yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So believable. And, you, and you're, you're looking at this email and you're like, she loves me? <laughs> wow. You know, <laughs> you buy her flowers and chocolates and she's like, what are you doing? That was I'm the married. virus. <laughs> that was the virus. Yeah, that was the virus. You, you know? Right. And then they'd attach to your computer and they'd start getting your information. And then they'd send emails to everybody else. So, you know, that, that was it was a pain in the butt for IT administrators, but it was kind of lighthearted and fun. Then you get into the 2000s and you've got the pop-up ads everywhere. Everybody's got a pop-up ad right. trying to get you to buy something, trying to get you to uh, click is, on a link. Is or, that a security threat, the pop-up ads? Well, they have, to get, they have to infect your computer to generate the pop-up ads. So gotcha. it was a security threat, but it was just popping up ads. It was a, it was a yeah. major annoyance, mm -hmm. uh, but then they made money because they got like a couple pennies every time somebody looked at the ad. Mm -hmm. And so that's how the bad guys made money. We had the Nigerian email. Oh, yeah, stuff, those, right? those guys don't quit. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just want to email them back with a, with a red pen, you know. <laughs> Like you need to, if you want this to even be remotely believable, <laughs> no one in the U.S. says, dear beloved, you know, Man, nobody, beloved. No, nobody says that, you know, <laughs> but, uh, but nevertheless, now, now here we are in the 21st century and the threats have changed. Now the bad guys, they're not after your bank account information. They don't care about your, your usernames and your passwords. Why steal usernames and passwords from individual people when we can just hack Yahoo and take them all? So what do they want now? They want your computer's processing capability. They want your computer's ability to do things. Uh, and whatever those things are, we may not know at this point, but if I can infect your computer with a virus that allows me to use your computer to do whatever the task is I want to do, I can then, one, sell the computing power to other people who want to do bad things, who want to you know, create botnets and viruses, or two, Let's mine some Doge coins. You heard of Doge coins? No. Exactly. Uh, you, you've heard of Bitcoin, Bitcoin right? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So Bitcoin is kind of like let's just say Bitcoin is the U.S. dollar of the cryptocurrencies. If you want to buy something on the internet, you can buy your Dish subscription with Bitcoin now. You can buy. Uh, you can shop at Overstock.com. You can buy anything on TigerDirect.com with Bitcoin. Stores and you know, base and they've made it almost like a credit card merchant processor because yeah. these companies don't keep the Bitcoin. One of those, the yeah. They change here. it in for dollars and then yeah. they're out. What's so Doge, Doge coin? Dogecoin is kind of like the 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 change you find in your couch of cryptocurrencies. Um, it, it's the, it, you know you have to have like half a million of them to have any kind of real value. Mm -hmm. And you and you online they use them. If you ever go to a forum and ask for help, somebody might tip the person who helps by giving them a couple thousand Doge coins. Doge. I feel you like know. we're opening a can of worms. We're not going to be able to explain. Oh no no, no. We, we're not going to go further into the cryptocurrencies. But what somebody did, somebody wrote. A, a virus, basically, that infected not the computers. So this is where it gets scary. Not the computers, but the devices attached to the computers. So these, this particular oh, infection wow. was a, uh, a, a network attached storage device, or a NAS. Uh -huh. It's a backup drive that has multiple drives in it that is redundant. So if one drive fails, you, your backup's right. not down. So what they did is they infected the actual NAS box, not the drives, but the chips in the box, and used those NAS boxes, boxes to mine for Dogecoin. So in other words, you get Dogecoin when you solve really complex mathematical problems. If you have your NAS box at home, most people don't have a NAS box, but yeah. most IT administrators have lots of them. Do, yeah. And so if you have your NAS box at home and you say, I'm going to mine for Dogecoins, it's incredibly inefficient. It's like mining for coins with your cell phone. You would never do it. But if I can get a few 20, 30,000 NAS boxes mm -hmm. working at the same time, mm -hmm. there's no antivirus, there's no security, and I can mine these coins. This dude mined half a million dollars worth of doge coins before he got is caught. Is this happening locally? I mean, is this something that's going on in Nebraska or is this happening in other parts of the world right now? Well, yeah, it, it goes on everywhere. The trouble is with the internet, everything's local. So, uh, you know, for example, last week the FBI bu busted one of these guys, one of the null crew hackers um, from way back in the day. He, he lived in Tennessee. So, I mean, so if you live in Tennessee, yeah, it was local for you that mm -hmm. day. But the web connects us all. Yeah, the web connects everything. Instant. And as we move forward into this internet of things, 
you have to sit and wonder when you're, you're you know, now they have, there was an article I read the other day about a microwave. The guy wasn't happy with his smart microwave. He didn't think it was very smart with his LG smart microwave. So he hooked up a little Raspberry Pi computer to it and put barcodes on all of his food. So when you put the food in the microwave, the microwave would detect what food it was and automatically cook right. it. He right. said, that's a smart microwave. Right. Wow. And, and so, you know, and, and it was really easy okay. for him to do. We have and, and about a minute here. I want to make sure we're covering the prevention side of all this. Of can course. you do that in a minute? I, I, I suspect I can if I try hard. Okay. All right. So. How do the viruses get into your attached devices? Of course, all these devices connect directly to the Internet, but you have a router in between your, your smart TV or your smart microwave or your smart refrigerator. And refrigerators all have motherboards now, even if they're not smart. Yeah. It's just like a computer. So those things all connect to the Internet through your router. So it's almost like a natural firewall. It's really hard for the bad guys to infect your microwave or your TV or your NAS box directly. They need a point of entry into your network. And that's where the infected computers become so valuable because if I can infect your computer, it has free reign to everything on your network. And then I can infect, you can even infect someone's router now. So these devices, when they get infected, there's no antivirus. There's no shop mm -hmm. you can take it to. Hey, my refrigerator has a virus. I right. need to remove it. Well, you've have you got tried Clorox? You've got to keep it from getting you know? into your house. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, keeping your computer protected is what's important. So uh, once again, to beat a dead horse, Norton 360 is the best antivirus you can use. And you need to keep those third-party programs <coughs> up to date, like Java Flash yeah, things with using Secure, secure Update. Um, yeah. Thor, by the way, is going to be at the Village Point location Monday through Thursday this week. So some That's of right. you might want him. That's to why I'm in computer. such a great mood because <laughs> I never get to work with customers. <laughs> so this is going to be 